Leica is renowned for many things, but few are as iconic as their M series of rangefinders. Last year, we reviewed the M11, Leica's first rangefinder to feature a 60 megapixel BSI CMOS sensor, triple resolution technology, and their first camera to feature a non-removable base plate. Today, Leica is announcing the M11 monochrome rangefinder camera. This is the fourth generation Leica M monochrome and the first to utilize the M11's full frame BSI CMOS sensor exclusively for black and white photography. Diving into the world of black and white, we put this camera and Leica M lenses to the test to see how much detail we can pull out of this amazing camera system. Since most of the camera is identical to the standard M11, let's dive into the uniqueness of the sensor design first. This camera has the same sensor as the M11, however, it's been modified to exclusively record black and white photographs. By removing the color filter array, the M11 monochrome sensor is only capable of capturing luminance values, or in other words, monochromatic images. While it loses the ability to see color, it can capture greater detail and increase dynamic range now that there is one less filter between light entering the camera and the sensor. Removing the color filter also makes the sensor more sensitive. The M11 monochrome has an improved ISO range from 125 to 200,000. The ISO 125 base is lower than previous versions suiting working in bright light, and the ISO 200,000 is higher than in the past to support working in extremely low light conditions. Another benefit of the monochrome sensor is that noise is better controlled compared to color sensors, so that ISO 200,000 setting is actually usable. In addition to inheriting the M11 sensor resolution and back illuminated design, the M11 monochrome also keeps their unique triple resolution technology that lets you dial down the resolution for times when you don't need the full 60 megapixels. Triple resolution technology is a form of pixel binning that enables you to use the full area of the sensor while shooting at reduced resolution, either 36 or 18 megapixels, and gaining a bit of dynamic range in the process. Compared to cropping, this method lets you keep the same field of view with your lenses and reap all the benefits of full frame sensor design. The M11 monochrome has a maximum mechanical shutter speed of 1 4 thousandths of a second, carries over the electronic shutter function that debuted on the original M11, allowing you to shoot at up to 1 16 thousandth of a second, and has a flash sync time of up to 1 1 80th of a second. For storing your photos, the M11 has upgraded the internal storage to 256 gigabytes, compared to 64 gigabytes of storage on the standard M11, and it retains the SD card slot located next to the battery. Another design decision carried over from the M11 is the non-removable base plate, which means the same BPSC7 battery can be inserted directly into the bottom of the camera and there's a USB-C port on the base for charging and file transfers. Leica gives the battery a 700 shot rating, but that figure includes some use of the screen. If you're just using the finder, you can easily shoot for a few days on a single charge. Speaking of the viewfinder, this is of course an M rangefinder, and the optical finder is one of the stars of the show. It's the same 0.37x magnification finder as the M11, and uses the same rangefinder focusing mechanism that's integral to these cameras. Since this is the monochrome version, there's a black chrome tint to the viewfinder coating too. On the back of the camera is the 2.95 inch, 2.3 million pixel sapphire covered LCD touchscreen. Next to the screen is the famously simple button design that pairs with an equally simple menu design. The M11 monochrome is the same size as the standard M11, but it does feature an all black stealthy design with no red dot on the front of the camera. The magnesium alloy camera body is covered in a matte black leatherette, and it has a scratch-resistant aluminum top plate with a small monochrome engraving at the front. The dials have also been stripped of color, featuring white and gray paint in the engravings, and the shutter and lens release buttons have also been blacked out for a minimalistic appearance. Rangefinder focusing and working with an optical viewfinder adds such a refreshing feeling to the act of photographing especially compared to most popular digital cameras that rely on EVFs or LCD screens. That said, the rear LCD can be a useful assistant, especially when working at close range and with ultra wide or telephoto lenses. But to be honest, it feels like it defeats the purpose of such a wonderfully designed camera. It has such a simple operational design with just three buttons on the back and a minimalistic menu system. The Leica aesthetic is so complete thanks to its optical viewfinder, simple dials, and manual M-mount lenses 
that's possible to forget you're using a digital camera that features one of the most impressive monochromatic sensors to date. That is, until you are reviewing your photos. The M11 monochrome captures incredibly detailed photos and impressive dynamic range. In our test, we are able to recover five stops of dynamic range easily in Adobe Camera Raw. Leica's M11 monochrome is a fantastic camera for anyone interested in black and white photography. The image is incredible, the design is beautiful, and it feels great to use the camera. As usual, Leica goes above and beyond to deliver a camera that is just as focused on the experience of using the camera as they are on delivering amazing image quality. After all, there are plenty of cameras that can take beautiful images. What makes a Leica M11 monochrome unique is the perfect union of analog photography shooting style with digital sensor technology. What are your thoughts on Leica's M11 monochrome rangefinder camera? Have you ever considered investing in a specialty camera? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Jabari with B&H. Have a beautiful day.